dumb, cool, and weird podcast. Pod, 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 pod. We're only 15 minutes in, and you've already convinced me. I don't, I don't like Michael Moore. Can't yeah, stand him. So there wasn't much, uh, much there that we could really go over, other than the fact that I mean, the guy hung out with Harvey Weinstein. Look it up, folks. We looked it up. He hung out with Harvey Weinstein. Anyway. Back when the diddling was fresh. Yes. So we're not even talking like Kevin Smith got him to help him in the 90s, kind of Harvey Weinstein. We're talking like it's fresh, happened in 2017, 2016. Came to this man and was like, oh, I know something that will help my career. Let me ask Harvey Weinstein to help me. I bet he's so disgusted, though, when Michael Moore showed up. He's like, I can't molest him. <laughs> oh my god Hollywood is a weird place man it's filled with like really fucked up people but the funniest thing has to be the fabricated lives that they live kind of like guys like Michael Moore oh, I'm just this poor small town American who just lives next to the Chevrolet factory that got l- locked down yeah I'm, I'm sad like everybody else I'm pretty sure he's trying to make a, a COVID documentary right now I'm pretty sure you're probably right. I mean, he'll make a documentary about anything. I mean, there, we could literally be making fun of, um, like, literally, literally, like, whatever, whatever social justice movements going on. I'm sure he jumps like right on the bandwagon and kind of rides the coattails. And he come probably comes like right at the end of it. He's like, he's like, oh, Black Lives Matter. Oh, 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 let, let, let me get a little, little piece of that. <laughs> yeah, a little piece of the action. Pulls out a sign, gets off the rascal scooter, takes his few steps for the day, and uh, pretends he's protesting. Yep. And he's gonna he's gonna keep pretending to protest because anytime he can get he, anytime he can get that extra cashola, you know. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, we we went pretty hard at this man. I mean, did he have any redeeming qualities? Um. Well, <laughs> the thing was, like I said, I mean, my professor told me that when he first got started in the early nineties, he seemed like he had some really good qualities about him. It seemed like he was actually trying to do some really good journalism. Um. But the the thing is, he seems like it's like. I don't know. According to, according to my professor, he said that like he just decided that you know the the guy just decided, hey, I'm just gonna do whatever I want, you know. And yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my money, and I don't care what people think, type of thing, you know. And he, you know, that kind of happens to a lot of people who start out with good intentions at first, but then it kind of explodes into garbage, you know. I guess I guess he kind of like I said, he went he got lightning in a bottle once, and then he just ran with it. Yeah. Yeah, he just and he didn't. He decided not to, not to care about anybody. Yeah, not to care. I mean, I don't even know if he cares about his family. I mean, who knows? If you want to check out more of our stuff, go to www.dumbcoolweird.com. You'll find our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon link if you want to support us. Also, be sure to check out our merch store. And if you're interested in being on our podcast, you can find a link on our website so you can reach out to us and tell us if you want to if you want to talk to us about something that's really weird, dumb or cool. We'd be glad to hear from you. Hope you'll stay tuned for the next weird ass episodes we got. Thank you.